y'all paying attention y'all heard that right like i take my nclex friday morning and i start my first like shift at friday night <laughs> And talk to you guys in so long where have y'all been what what is going on we'll have so many things to tell you guys okay so y'all know that you, the last time y'all saw me like really saw me was graduation which was like may 13th can y'all believe it's been two months since i've graduated from nursing school y'all two months so in those two months i went on vacation like after i graduated i walked across the stage i got on a plane and i dipped so in june i've really been um just starting work and studying for the NCLEX and things like that but I have been receiving two questions since I've been gone in this video I'm going to answer one of them how am I studying for the NCLEX so I actually take the NCLEX this Friday so today is Tuesday I'll be taking the NCLEX on Friday so I have been studying and I promise you guys I want to make a video about how I've been studying for the NCLEX but I don't want to post that until I know it works y'all like I, I promise you it's coming once I get that score once I see that I've passed then I will definitely make a video about that for you but until then the second question that I've been getting is where will you be working so if you know me personally you already know this but if you are just in my YouTube fam y'all probably do not so if y'all remember uh, back in I think it's been a year from now dang it's really been a year last July we started our women's health rotation labor and delivery and your girl loved it i loved it so much that i made it my preceptorship y'all could not tell me i wasn't going to be a labor and delivery nurse there was one unit in the hospital that i visited very briefly during one of my rotations and i loved it but i wasn't sure if that was something that i loved at the time because it was better than being on the unit that i was supposed to be on for that rotation or if it was something that i could see myself doing so i was battling between two things l and d and this other unit for a long time and I finally came to a decision and I will be working in the emergency department <laughs> oh my god y'all doesn't even sound real y'all I am an ER nurse that's where I chose to start my first RN job so I'm jumping straight in and I'm so excited y'all I love the hospital that I'm at I love the unit that I'm on I actually, I, I'm saying that, but I actually haven't even started yet. So the past two weeks I had orientation, which I did film a little bit. So I might post a, um, some footage from that. But I actually start my first shift this Friday. So yeah, if y'all remember, if y'all paying attention, y'all heard that right. Like I take my NCLEX Friday morning and I start my first like shift at Friday night. It's like all happening so fast. And that is honestly why I've been gone for a minute because I just needed to sink all of this stuff in, get everything together and focus on the NCLEX. So I'm back. There's more to this video, so don't click off yet. The rest of this video i wanted to show you guys the supplies that i got for work because i know you guys loved my what's in my clinical bag so i'm going to do what's in my work bag as of now fresh starting this is what i'm taking to work this is things that i needed to have before i started and then i'm sure once i start working i'm going to find other things and i'm going to gather things and i'm going to have completely different stuff in my work bag so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is what y'all all really care about is my stethoscope so i actually did get a brand new stethoscope y'all remember the one that i had in nursing school love that one it was the mdf one it worked so well for nursing school it was black rose gold and honestly i thought i was going to keep that one for a little minute but my mom is such a lovely woman and she surprised me with a litman so let me show you guys let me get closer so y'all can see with a chocolate litman y'all first of all have y'all ever seen a stethoscope this color like that's crazy it's like a chocolate color with the uh with the gold it's like a bronzy gold and then she added these little diamond cuffs onto it so it make it stand out more and y'all it is so cute it, like it's so cute and it's very and it's very lightweight y'all like it's a lot lighter than the mdf one that i had and i didn't even realize that the mdf one was heavy so like if you don't want a litman or can't afford to get a litman right now like that one was perfectly fine but this one's so light and it uh, i can slightly hear the difference i know i said that i couldn't hear the difference in the mdf but uh 
it's a very small difference but it is clearer on the litman so i'm excited to use that she also got me this little case i don't know where this is from so i can't link any of these things but i can ask her so i'm sure it's from amazon she's just like me with amazon but it has um a little like zipper pouch here things to put here like i guess for your pen light or pens a little compartment there it is nice <laughs> so that's what my mommy got um another thing i wanted to show you guys is definitely gonna still use my pocket organizer though because i'm a nerd i'm gonna always have that but the next thing i want to show you guys is my shoes okay so my work shoes i this was like a debate i have been thinking about what work shoes i want to get since like december of last year like i've been thinking about this for a very long time because i hate clogs i hate the little dance goes i'm sorry they're just they're just not comfortable for me i use not the dance goes but like another kind of clock i think it was like lafort or something like that for nursing school first of all they were so ugly but i wasn't buying a new pair of shoes in nursing school like i'm, I'm about to be done so i just figured get over it get on with it but i know it's gonna get tennis shoes once i graduate it but i did not like the idea of being in either the ed or lnd and having on like porous tennis shoes because there's blood falling on the ground i might step in water or like something crazy might happen and I was like, I don't want my socks to get wet. So, so I got the clothes. So y'all gonna have to ignore that these are not in prime condition because I did go to orientation last week. So I've already worn these shoes about five times, but that's okay. I kind of wanted to test them out before I put these in the video because like, if I don't like these shoes, then, you know, they're so comfortable, y'all. They're really comfortable. They're really cute. They have this like little button here that you press and like, I guess it's, that you press to like tighten the shoe so you don't have shoe strings that can come untied or like fall in water or anything like that they are blue at the bottom which i thought was cute because it matched my outfit matches my scrubs and it has a memory foam i really like it the only thing i don't like is that it creases really bad at the toe but like who cares about that and um if this way if these get dirty you can just take like a sandy cloth or like a clorox wipe and just wipe them off so i've definitely done that every day every time i get home and the color has not faded at all which i thought was pretty nice don't know how they're gonna hold up for a full 12 hours but um because the first i've gone is eight hours but i will definitely let you guys know as soon as i have a work vlog um i also liked that they came with i'm like reaching in my bag it came with three pens one of them is missing because it's probably in my scrub pocket getting washed somewhere and then two bad drills so that was really nice packaging on their part so the next thing i want to share with you guys is scrubs so i went scrub shopping uh, about a month ago to start work and i wanted to share with you guys two things about the scrubs that i got so I'm not going to show, I originally wanted to like give you guys a fashion show about all like all the different scrubs that I got, but they, they all look the same. They're all the same color. They're all either joggers or straight legs. Y'all know what scrubs look like. And the brand names are so random, like I'm not even going to. So I just decided that instead of doing all of that and boring y'all, I was just going to wear my favorite scrub set on camera and talk about it really quick. So this is the scrubs. This is one of the pair that I got from, it's this uniform place near me but the brand is urban or urban something like that and you guys i can't really back up far enough to show you guys because i'm short but y'all get the point they're so comfortable they're like a thick enough material to where i'm not as cold in the torso area but they're not like super thick to where i'm hot i'm sweating so they're really they're really soft and they have this cute little detailing that i just cannot get over on the collar and they have the same thing on the ankle where it becomes a you know a little cuff to make it jogger so they're super cute it's like the most like deep designed one that i have the rest of them are just blue but I, I did get the genu pair of scrubs because i thought you know i'm graduated let me treat myself let me go all out y'all i i'm kind of disappointed they're comfortable they're very soft like everyone says that Janu scrubs are soft and comfortable that is 100 percent true they are soft but what i personally didn't like about the pair that i got was that they're thick like they're a thicker material than other scrubs you know how most scrubs have that sloshy material that like makes the sound this material was like a sweatpant 
material which is nice like i'm sure i'm gonna love those pairs when um the winter comes but it just wasn't what i was expecting for this hot louisiana uh summer right now and on top of that i got the same color in the shirt and the pants but they were like two tones like you know what i mean like they had a different shade of blue so they had a different shade of royal blue in the same brand and when i'm ordering online you know they're not make they're not paired together in sets so that makes it hard to know if you're getting the same shade of the certain color that you need so i think i made the mistake of picking a shirt and a pants that were both royal blue but they were not the same shade of royal blue but i'm still gonna keep them they're comfy and i paid for them um, but anyway the last thing that i want to show you guys is my work bag a lot of thought went into my work bag and i finally got what i think is the perfect bag here it is okay so this bag came from amazon as y'all know i need y'all to really like appreciate this bag so let me back it up let me show you guys so first of all i got it in black because you know i don't want it to get dirty i'm in the hospital i'm in an ed i want it to be easy to clean too because it was black i wanted to add some like detailing to it that made a difference so these are little pins that i got off of etsy and they're so cute y'all so one of them is they're both iv drip bags but one if i can get that to focus says caffeine and the other one says drop it like it's hot but with like the gtt for drop yeah cute but what i love about this bag is how many compartments it has so it has two water bottle slots um this little top compartment here that you can just clip snap and unsnap close so like you could throw something quick in there you got this top compartment that i have stuff in um it goes about to like right here in the bag and that's where i have like you know my little what's this thing called that i call this my little first aid kit that i keep with me all the time and then you also have like the big compartment in the back which has a laptop case in case you ever want to take your laptop with you but what is unique about this bag which is actually why i got it is this bottom compartment right here so when you open this you guys y'all y'all come on y'all are not gonna tell me this is not so cool okay so the bottom compartment of this bag is it is actually a lunch kit so you cannot use this as a lunch kit like you can definitely just put whatever you want in there and just call it a day but if you want to use it as a lunch kit let me sit this down all you would have to do i can't really do this with one hand and no food but like this pushes back all the way into the back of the bag so it creates this big spacious bottom compartment lunch kit with a little like net thing here and you can just close it back up and then it like i said it goes all the way to the back of the backpack so it, you can still use the backpack at just like half capacity they're still separated I don't understand but you can use it as a lunch kit and a bag and i loved that y'all so like what really sold that's what sold me on it because when you think about it like if you get one of those little i didn't want a backpack even though i kind of already still have that it has these little like pretty solid straps so i can hold it like a tote or something on the day that i want to be a bougie but like I'm nine times out of ten i'm just going to suck it up and use it, use it as a backpack because one that's more comfortable but like to, I was really just sold on that compartment there, y'all. Because if you think about it, you're gonna have you see those nurses in the hospital all the time. They got they got the water bottle in one hand, they got the coffee in the other, they got the tote on their arm, they got the lunch kit, they got the keys on their pinky finger. That's just too much. So you know what? No, I'm with this bag. My lunch kit and my work bag are the same thing. So like, I don't have to worry about carrying all of that i have to worry about grabbing my tote and leaving the lunch kit or grabbing the lunch kit and leaving my tote like everything is just with me and i like that um obviously that means i can't put my backpack in the fridge i just thought about that but like like you could put your lunch kit in the fridge but that's okay those fridges are usually nasty anyway just grab an ice pack so, um yeah that is it y'all <laughs> so the next time you see me guys i will be a registered nurse Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for sticking with me through nursing school. I'm excited to share this next part of my journey with you guys. And, and we about to get a whole lot litter up in here. So uh, I love you guys, and I will see y'all next week. Okay, bye.